Hey friends, Julie here and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you three Dollar Tree DIY lanterns. So we are going to hop right in here and I am going to start explaining our first lantern. You're going to need these three Dollar Tree frame, um, yeah, picture frames. It's the ones that look like wood, but they're really plastic. They're a five by seven size. And I'm just gonna begin with painting them, giving them a very weathered gray black kind of look. So I start off with a gray coat and I'm kind of making it sloppy because I even want some of the wood to still show through. And then I'm gonna do a layer of black and then I'm gonna repeat it and do a little bit more gray just to lighten it up. This is just a washed effect. You can do it however you want, but you're gonna need three five by seven frames. Now I wanna make sure to mention that I am taking part in the Three Things Collab hosted by Kat from According to Cat, And this month, her co-host is Casey from Coffee with My Sunshine. The Three Things Collab is just to make three things that are kind of similar, I guess. So you could pick a theme, which mine is lanterns, but you could also take like one type of item and make three different crafts with it. So there will be a playlist down in my description box so that you can go check out all the other DIYs. So to assemble, you're gonna need the three frames. I also went and on regular computer paper, printed out three pictures printed in black and white. You're gonna need a hot glue gun, some either Mod Podge or some craft white glue, some black paint, just in case we need to touch anything up. I ended up not needing the black paint, but if you wanna to touch up the corners, you can. And to begin, I'm just going to disassemble the frames. I don't need the backs. And I'm also going to remove um, the little black pieces that keep the glass in. And I'm gonna use the backs to trace onto the pictures just so that I know to cut them out the correct size. This is gonna be one of those kind of illuminated um, lanterns so that you could see through the glass. And I'm actually gonna be using this as a Mother's Day gift for my mom. So she has three kids, so I printed out pictures of her three children's families. <laughs> and that's what I'm gonna be putting in here. So here I am taking those little black metal pieces out because we don't need them. We are just gonna end up gluing the glass into the frame to keep it there. So when I take the glass out, I notice that the glass is extremely dirty. So I went and cleaned them. Next, once it's all clean and dry, I'm just gonna take some watered down Elmer's glue, or again, you could use Mod Podge, and I'm gonna cover the entire glass then I'm gonna stick the picture face down into the glue, and then I'm gonna cover the back of it also with the watered down glue, making sure that there's any, if there's any wrinkles or anything like that, that I smooth them out. And I wanna make sure I get it around the edge really well so that it's sealed. And it doesn't, you just don't want it to peel off the glass. And I'm gonna do that with the remaining photos. Now that everything's dry, I'm just gonna put a little bit of hot glue in each of the corners of the frame and glue in the glass. And now I am going to assemble it. This is going to be in a triangular shape. I could make it a square if there were four children in our family, but there's only three, so a triangle works well. And I'm just going to attach it using some hot glue. Now this was a little bit tricky because I didn't want the glue to dry. I wanted it to dry in the right angle. So I had to hold it and keep it from getting stiff while I'm putting on the next one and then having to attach the middle. It was tricky, but I got it done. And this is where I could go in with the black paint if it was needed and kind of touch up any areas. I'm just peeling out any of the hot glue that is visible. And now I am going to be um, kind of like almost like caulking, but with the hot glue in each of the creases just to make sure that it is nice and secure. And if I do it from the inside, the glue is less likely to show. And here it is, I am just using a battery operated candle, but I think it turned out really great. You can definitely see through, which is the look I was going for. And um, 
I think my mom will love it. So for the next lantern, I'm going to use four of these black 5x7 frames from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to use the back cover of an old notebook to be the base. Now you could use cardboard or anything that you have like that. And I am just going to, I'm kind of just making sure that this is the way I want to set it up. I want it to be a triangular lantern and I want the tall side up. And here I am just measuring it because I'm going to mark off where I need to make my cuts on the, it's not really cardboard and it's thicker than cardstock, but the thick back part of a notebook. And then I am just going to cut it out and I'm going to give it one coat of black paint because it's going to be the bottom of the lantern and I want it to match. So I am just going to disassemble these frames the same way I did the last. I'm also going to be removing the little black metal tabs on the back. Now this time I did use scissors instead of my finger because I gave myself a little cut last time. So using scissors or pliers would work best. And here is how this lantern turned out. I am showing you here how you can style it with a few different candles in it, but I'm also going to show you that you can use it um, with a potted plant or a green um, orb. It looks really cute both ways. Now for the third lantern, you're going to need one and a half packages of these tumbling tower blocks from the Dollar Tree. You're going to need some wood stain of your choice. You will need a rag. I'm just going to use a paper towel and you're going to want gloves to protect your hands so that you don't get stain everywhere. And I'm showing you a hot glue. Do not use hot glue. I tried it. It didn't work. I had to redo the whole thing. You're going to want to definitely use wood glue. It does take a little bit longer to dry, but it is a lot sturdier and it really won't fall apart. And so I'm just going to stain each of the pieces. It took um, 36 pieces. And then you'll see that I ended up adding some pieces at the bottom. And then I'm just going to set them aside to dry. Now to attach, I'm going to make two of these squares, one for the bottom and one for the top. And I'm going to do two across and three um three on one side across and then two in the middle meeting them together. And I'm doing this on the bottom of a cake pan that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. This is, this is what I'm gonna be using for a craft project so I wasn't all that concerned about it and the glue didn't stick to it like it would of my table. And so I'm just gonna assemble this and let it dry. Now you're also, while that's drying, you're going to want to make four like legs, I guess, or I don't really know what to call them, four 
sticks of four. <laughs> you're going to want four of them and you're going to want four pieces glued together. And you're going to want to set that aside and let that dry as well. Now we are going to assemble this again using the wood glue. I am going to take the sticks of four and I'm going to glue them in the four different corners. And then I'm going to take the other um, rectangle shape that we made and I'm going to glue that on top. And again, you want to let everything dry. You may need um, a couple of items around just to kind of stabilize and keep everything from moving. It, it, while it takes a little bit longer for wood glue to dry, it can get sticky and tacky within just a few minutes. So once it's a little bit sticky and tacky, it will hold a lot faster. So once I had finished it the way that it was, I was not happy with it. I really wanted a base and I couldn't figure out any way to use the blocks that I had because I wasn't going to go to the store to get more blocks to make a base for the lantern. So I ended up just taking 14 more blocks and gluing them into the center of the base. Now they weren't stained because I hadn't stained them yet. So here you're going to see me going through and staining the bottom. I'm also going to be restaining any of the places that show where the glue is dried because it helps to cover it up. I love how this lantern turned out. I took a Dollar Tree glass hurricane and just a candle and stuck it in here and it looks perfect like this. It would be beautiful on a centerpiece for a wedding if you had like three of them. You could even stack them on books or whatever to make them different heights. It would be so pretty. I also am showing you that it also looks really good with a plant inside of it. I really hope you guys enjoyed these DIYs. Let me know down in the comments which lantern was your favorite. Give this video a thumbs up and I will see you next time. Bye.